What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we are rocking out with one of the best fossil types for ranked battles, Omastar. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button and join the Genius community. It really goes a long way. Just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. You guys are the real ones. Thank you guys so much for helping me grow as a content creator. But this team right here, we actually got dumped on by in a previous video. If you guys watch my Pokemon Sword Show content on the regular, you guys know that we got dumped on by this Omastar and Calyrex combo. And finally, I got my hands on a team. So I cannot wait to showcase this combo and showcase just how strong Omastar is. But with that out the way, let's get started here with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner, we have the one and only Omastar. Probably my first time ever using this Pokemon on the rank ladder, so it's definitely going to be fun. We got the weak armor as its ability, and then we're rocking weakness policy as its item. It's got protect, ice beam, meteor beam, and hydro pump for two stab moves alongside one coverage move. Second Pokemon is going to be Incineroar over here. And Incineroar is really cool, or not really cool, but... It's Incineroar. I, I don't know why I said he's really cool, but it's Incineroar over here. It's got Fire Blitz, Snarl, U-Turn, and Fake Out. And then it's got Safety Goggles and Intimidate as its item and ability. Middle left is going to be Calyrex over here. This Calyrex has the Choice Scarf and the As One ability. But this Calyrex is mainly here just to set up this Omastar. It's got will o -Wisp, Astro Barrage, Double Kick, and Trick Room. So what we want to do with this Calyrex is lead it out or get it out there with the Omastar and the Calyrex at the same time. Use Double Kick into our Omastar, proc weakness policy, and proc our weak armor ability. So that will give us a plus two speed boost and then that plus two attack boost from the weakness policy. Then from there, Omastar can pretty much just sweep out. Really strong Pokemon, really good all around. Just kind of watch out for Zacians up against them. Fourth Pokemon on today's team is going to be Grimstarl. My favorite Grimstarl set, the Prankster, Light Clay with Spirit Break, Light Screen, Reflect, and Taunt. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Assault Vest Groudon. Really, really bulky Pokemon and great in all different situations. It's got Drought, the Assault Vest like I already mentioned, and then Precipice Blades, Fire Punch, Stone Edge, and Heavy Slam. Final Pokemon is going to be our Trick Room Pokemon. It is going to be Magurna over here with a Soul Heart ability alongside with the Life Orb as item. It's got Flur Cannon, Flash Cannon, Trick Room, and Dazzling Gleam for its four moves. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, the code is at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ranked double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Oma Star team. Pretty cool first battle coming at you guys. We're going up against an off meta Gujra team right here that features Charizard, Lycanroc, Mimikyu, Whimsicott, and Serena over here. So I'm kind of scared of the Whimsicott and Charizard lead, but I feel like going into my boy right here, Oma Star, alongside with Calyrex, it could definitely get some work done. But again, the only problem is going to be. That Whimsicott and Charizard. Because say we go into both these guys, he goes into Whimsicott, pops the Tailwind, then he has Speed Control, and Charizard does learn a Grass Move, and most of them do roll out with it. He can Dynamax, he can Max Overgrowth, and take out Omastar, no problem. But if Whimsicott does not come out as a lead, or Whimsicott and Charizard doesn't come out as a lead, I think we should be fine, and we should kind of just clean up this battle with Omastar. But I'm going to lead them too. I am going to bring Groudon in the back end, because Groudon just does a lot of work. And then last but not least, I feel like Incineroar can get some work done here as well. So yeah, I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But you guys got to let me know for question of the day. Down in the comment section down below, what fossil Pokemon do you guys think is the best for ranked battles? Probably Draco Fish, right? I'm trying to think. I feel like all of them have like this, like some sort of usage, but like they're all, none of them are like overpowered. I feel like Draco Fish was probably the best ever in a ranked battle, right? In a ranked battle series. Not just for Sword and Shield. I'm trying to think of like other games that other fossil Pokemon would go. But I'm kind of upset he led the Charizard and he led the uh, the Whimsicott. That is upsetting. But I'm still going to go for it. I don't think he knows about this Omastar combo. I don't think he knows about this Omastar combo. That is kind of tough, yo. It is definitely kind of tough. Uh, I'm going to Dynamax here. I am just going to drop a Rock Fall. I'm going to say bye-bye to the Charizard. And I am going to straight up double kick right into my boy right here. But I think Calyrex will still outspeed with the Choice Scarf, the Charizard. Even if that thing is in a Tailwind. And then hopefully, we're just going to hope that the Charizard is going to go into uh, Calyrex. But of course, every time I say something like, oh, hopefully this guy doesn't lead this. Hopefully this guy doesn't do this. They do exactly that every single time. When this guy Charizard is here, I do not like it. But hey, Omastar is going to get after it. We're going to hope he goes after Calyrex. And then we kind of roll out from there. But we'll see. We shall see. Because if he Dynamax Charizard and takes on my Calyrex, my Omastar is dumping on it. I almost start saying, see you later. Get him on out of here. Oh, he withdraws Charizard. We love that turn. Who's he going into from there? Who's going to take this rock move? Serene. Okay. 
That's not too bad because uh, this move right here, this Rockfall will actually set up the Buffets and Buffets should be able to take off Focus Sash on that Wimscott if it even has it. But I would think that a Wimscott would have it. But he swaps a Charizard. Knowing the Omo Star is out on the field, ready to go. Omi, Omi, baby. Get it. 354 HP, that's not too bad. That's not too bad. Wimscott is going to go for a Tailwind. Okay, I see you. I see you, dog. Oh, but we're choosing a double kick now, which kind of sucks. I might want to swap. But we're going to double kick. It is going to hit trigger our weak armor. So it is going to drop our defense. But our speed's getting boosted. Speed is getting boosted. It's going to proc weakness policy as well. Then we're going to use our second kick for double kick to uh, boost our speed and lower our defense yet again. So this combo is ridiculous. Can't believe this is like their first time seeing it. It's actually really cool. I actually really, really like it. Now we're minus two on defense, plus two on speed, plus two on special attack, plus two on physical attack. And now we're dropping rocks that are stab damage as well. Tareen does not take too kindly to that. Does not take too kindly. I think he thought we were going for a water shot when ultimately we were going for that rock move. That lovely little rock move. So we take out Serene over here. Tailwind is out and about. That Charizard's scaring me. Um, I feel like I have to swap into... Uh, Incineroar? Hopefully he brings out a physical attacker, but I think Charizard's just gonna come back out in the field. Actually, maybe not. He hard swapped it. Let's see, who is this? Let me mimic you. Yeah, so I'm just gonna swap into Incineroar, pull off that Intimidate, and I am going to get rid of the... Hmm. I'm gonna get rid of the Wimscott here. I'm gonna get rid of the Wimscott, and I'm just gonna Intimidate you. Let's save Kalax. Oh, quick cancel Omastar with the sweep. We love it. Well, guys, that first battle was rather quick. We just dominated with Omastar, dropped the double kick, practice his weakest policy, and started ripping up, and then our opponent canceled. But we're hopping into a second battle here, and this team is really cool. It is a Gen 5 only team, right? This Gen 5 only? It's really, really cool. I like it. But it has Zekrom, Regiram, Kieran White, Victini, Genesec, and Whimsy Whims. Again, I do not want to go into the uh, Omastar combo because of that Whimsy but we did it last game and it worked out pretty well because he swapped the Charizard, but I just don't like it here. I really don't, but I might go for the Trick Room Pop. The Trick Room Pop seems like it's going to be the play here, unless he goes into Victini. I do not like Victini. I mean, I could go Incineroar. I think I'm going to go Incineroar just to kind of counteract that. So I am going to lead them to try to pop a Trick Room and kind of go from there. Do I bring Omastar in that case or just Calyrex in the back end? I think Choice Scarf Calyrex in the back end is really helpful, especially if Trick Room ends or when it ends. Um, Calyrex can just clean up a mess, you know? It's because, you know, it's a fast Pokemon on the field. It has Choice Scarf as well, so in Trick Room, it's going to be able to do nothing. It's a glass cannon. It really only works good if you're outspeeding Pokemon. So we'll see how this one plays out. But he's going to end up leading da -da -da, these two little boogers. Okay, um, I can just fake out the Wimscott, I guess. And I can pop a Trick Room fairly easily here, right? I don't think the Ice Moon can count. I think Trick Room is just going to be the play. And then we can roll out strong. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. I'm all about it. So yeah, Trick Room. Out and about. We got to fake out the Whimsy. We got to go from there. Because Whimscott can pop a Trick Room. It can pop a Tailwind. It can do a lot. But I would rather just fake it out and set up the Trick Room freely this turn. I don't think Kiram can kill me, right? I mean, it has... Dragon and Ice. Dragon, it cannot hit me with a Dragon move. I don't think the Ice move can kill me. I think we're sitting pretty good here. But he is still going to Dynamax. So I don't really mind. Because again, if I get off this Trick Room, I can either Dynamax my gear, depending on its HP. Or I can just drop a big old floor cannon into it. Get some good damage and then just save my Dynamax for probably Groudon, right? And then Flare Blitz into Wimscott next turn. I'm all about it. I, I, I like Werber. Where are we going with this turn? Unless he gets a crit. He's going to help. Oh, 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 hold up. Wait a minute. I don't like that. I don't like that. Helping hand. Yo, can you eat this up? This is a rather bulky Magirna. One night. Oh, it has flair. It has flair. I do not like that. Not one bit. Get him on out of here. Um, kind of. So I guess we'll got Dynamax Ground on here. I'm trying to make something happen. Has flare. Of course it has flare. Of course it has flare. Okay, so from here I think we just 
We got a banner, right? We could go into Steel Spike here. Steel Spike could be the play. Get a defense boost, even though this thing is. Is it physical? No, it's special. It's special. I think Quake might be my play just to get a get that going, and then I could snarl. Oh, I could flare blitz for the KO. I'm kind of leaning towards the flare blitz for the KO. That hurts, man. The non trick him from the mega gear. They all sitting there. I was just like, he has nothing to kind of KO me, and then he helping hands. I'm like, dear Neptune, <laughs> helping hands into a flare. I'm like, no way. Hate this game, man. Usually when I use Kiram, they do not roll out with Flare. So that, that was kind of odd. It's usually like Protect, Ice Move, Dragon Move, maybe a Ground Move. It's a lot of different options. But now he sets up the Tailwind. I mean, you had Speed regardless, but it's all good. I'll let him waste that turn. Hailstorm's going to fly here, and you're going to go into my Groudon. Groudon says, yo, I got a Soul Fest on. I can eat this up all day. That did hurt, though. It did hurt the Soul. It did hurt the Soul a little bit. I do not have Protect either, which kind of sucks. This kind of suck, but we're going to end up quaking here. Get it. Bang. Some okay damage. Yeah, we don't have protect, which kind of sucks. We do not have protect. We need that special defense boost. Not really going to help us out too much. And Flavor should be able to take out Wimps, kind of problem. Oh, it doesn't, but Buffets will. We like the Buffets. We do indeed like the Buffets. So yeah, Buffets KO. Um... I don't know where to go from here. I don't have guard. I can't guard. Wish it trick him when got out, man. That was the plan. That was the plan. That was the plan. He's gonna end up sending out Zekrom here. Okay. Zekrom's really cool. Terrible. Mmm. And I can't guard. So Quake's gonna have to be my play. And then if I can, I'd rather just get off some Flare Blitz damage here. But again, I think he just hails from straight into me, right? Maybe he thinks I'm protecting. Nope, he goes straight into a hailstorm. We're gonna say bye bye to my Groudon. Leave him alone! That's gonna take him out. Top. I mean, I still have my Calyrex. I still have Choice Scarf Calyrex. But should be able to outspeed these guys, right? And that should be uh, Kirim's last turn. It's pretty good. And he's gonna go for Fusion Bolt, which I think we should be able to soak. Cinnamon is basically at full HP. And we don't. Was that a crit? That's just dumped on me. Ripped into me. Alright, Calyrex. Your time to shine, baby girl. Your time to shine. Calyrex is going to come out here. I think we can take out... Uh, I think we can take out... Kiram White. This first shot, right? We get a boost, and then maybe with that boost, we can kind of just clean up. We would just have to be able to eat up a Zekrom shot, right? And a buff it. That's it. We would need to be able to eat up a Zekrom shot and a buff it. So I'm just going to go straight into this. And hope for the best. Calyrex out here. And this is why we brought it in the back end. Big old plays. Outspeeds a lot. Let's see how this one plays out here. Astrobosh is going to fly. And can it KO that Kieran White, please? Does. Again, we just need to eat up the shot, basically. So we have speed. And Grimnate is boosted. It's plus one for us. What's he going for? Another fusion bolt. Hate this game. Eat this up, Callie. Come on, Callie. I need you here. Bro, that move's so strong. That move's so strong. It is so strong. He doesn't even have orb, does he? He's just doing crazy amount of damage left and right. That's unreal. Second battle did not go so hot, but we're sitting here in our third battle going up against a really cool Dragonite team looking for our winning record because we won the first battle, we lost the second battle, and now we're sitting here. But yeah, we were this close to actually winning that battle. Like I said, we just need to eat up a Zekrom shot, and then I'm pretty sure my Calyrex could just roll out and steamrolled anybody with that Grimnade boost. But this guy's got a really cool team. Xerneas, Zygarde, Groudon, Grimstarl, Dragonite, and Necrozma. I'm thinking this could be an easy Om Omastar setup, considering he doesn't have Tailwind, and then we kind of just outspeed. So I am really liking that. So I'm going to go into the Omastar combo yet again. I am going to bring Groudon in the back end, and then last but not least, I kind of like this Magirna. I kind of like this Magirna. Steel type, I dig it a lot. So we're going to lock it in, we're going to lock it down, and we're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number three. But what is so good, or... Or what is so good about the uh, Omastar and the Shadow Rider Kalash combo is you're always Dynamax and Omastar, so it can't be faked out. And then 
Calyrex's ghost, so that can't be faked out either. So I think it's amazing. I think it is really cool. So you can't be faked out and stopped like that. You gotta go up against somebody with like Sucker Punch or something. And there's Grimstar with Sucker Punch. I don't like that. All right, hopefully that might almost start can outspeed after that. But um, I wonder what Grimstar is doing here. He might be sending up a screen. Might be setting up a screen. Sucker Punch could do me dirty. I don't have Scarf, but I'm still gonna go for this. Uh, do I go for Rockfall or Water? I think Water's gonna be your best bet. Just send it right into the Xerneas slot. But I think Xerneas trying to set up Geomance with a screen, right? Makes a lot of sense. Does make a lot of sense. We're special attacking, so it's definitely setting up a light screen here, right? I'm just hoping he doesn't go for Sucker Punch. Sucker Punch could do me so bad. If he Sucker Punches, I do not have Focus Ash. He takes me out instantly. Let's see what he does here. He's going to set up a screen, right? No Protect Zern. He's going to go for a light screen. Okay. Smart play there. He gets off the free screen. Um, We are going to double kick into the Omasar here. My own starts gonna get some speed here. Okay, <clears throat> I don't think he is rocking Sucker Punch on that Grimstar. Only because the sheer fact is, it seems like it's a screen setup, so he probably has Reflect Light Screen, uh, Spirit Break, and then some other move. I'm trying to think, or it's probably like Thunder Wave. So Thunder Wave's kind of scaring me. I don't like that. I don't like Thunder Wave. It slows me down. <laughs> Paralyzes and like status conditions are like. So much more valuable than you think if you never played ranked battles. Cause like when you're a kid, you're just playing through the main story. You're just like, oh, like Sash is just blah 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 blah. But burns are incredibly strong. Paralyzes are insanely strong. They're just so good all around. I just wish they would like buff poison. Maybe I think poison should be the burn for special attackers. Like a drop special attack. I think that could be cool all around. But uh, I think from here we can just hard swap into the ground on. Well, I might go into this Pokemon. I'm trying to pop a trick in. I'm gonna go into that. I am going to go into a. I might think I'm going into another Geyser. Let's see what other Pokemon he has. Hmm. I think Geyser still a reply. Looking at these guys' Pokemon, I mean, he could go into Dragonite. I could drop a Rockfall instead. Let me see. I might drop a Rockfall instead. What's the chance is he swapping in Dragonite here? I'm gonna go into Geyser. I'll straight up guys going into the slot. I'm swapping my Kallax. I'm going to go into my lovely little Magirna. And then I'm just going to Geyser. So this should be able to take out Xerneas no problem. So we'll say bye bye Xerneas. See you later alligator. Rain boost plus two boost. Stab boost. We love it. <coughs> and we got Soul Heart. That was actually a really good play that I didn't even mean to make. He's going to drop my special attack to plus one, which I don't mind. And now we're weak armor again, which we love. <laughs> Get my speed boost again. And now I, you know, I'll pop another trick room and I'll take out another Pokemon. I'm plus three on speed. I'm not really too worried about that Grimstarl. It's trick room time. It's trick room time. Because then Magirna, he's going to think the threat's going to be Omastar. He's going to target down to Omastar. We're going to pop a trick room and the threat's going to be Magirna. He's going to bring out Necrozma. Necrozma, Necrozma. Whatever you want to call it, and he might even Dynamax this Pokemon. Floor Cannon can rip. I can rip in these guys. Uh, but yeah, I think Trick Room is going through reply. And we just take out the Grimmy Grim. Where do I go after Necrozma? I think we should get off as much damage as we can into the Necrozma slot. I think that's gotta be reply. Just get off as much damage as we can into Necrozma. Because I can take out Grimstar at any time with a Flash Cannon. Hmm. Yeah, I think he's going to Dynamax the Charisma here. But I'm kind of scared that he might guard. Or he might be trying to set up a Trick Room of his own. But if he sets up Trick Room, I don't mind it. Again, we have our Magirna ready to roll. Groudon's rather slow as well. But it's not too bad. And then we know that his other Pokemon... Oh, no, it's not Xerneas. I thought he was going to swap Xerneas, but we end up KOing it. But he does not move the Charisma. We do some big damage to it, but we don't pick up the KO, which is kind of sad. And he just goes for Spear Break into my Magirna. Magirna is even on the attack board now. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. Smart little play by him. And what's he going to go into with Necrozma here? He's going to pop a Trick Room. Yo, he's going to think we're a genius here. But we're not. 
You shouldn't think we're an absolute genius. He's like, yo, I just popped the trick room. And I just counted the trick room. <laughs> That's so funny. That's honestly so funny. <laughs> so we end up. Dynamax is over. Um, I could gleam. I just want a floor cannon. Or flash cannon would probably be your play. Flash cannon and the Grimstarl. And then hope that this Hydro Pump lands. Take out the Krasma. This dude's probably upset at that. Hydro Pump does land indeed. We are going to go plus one back onto the Magirna. I could have popped another Trick Room. But at this point, there's, we shouldn't pop the Trick Room. We should just start targeting now. Full Heart coming in here. We're plus one again. Which is beautiful. And is this going for another Spear Break? He is indeed. After Omastar? No, my Magirna. Leave my Magirna alone, dude. My little Magirna alone. Flash Cannon coming in hot. This is probably not going to be able to KO due to the light screen, but still a nice chunk of damage there. Another one will though. I could have popped the Trick Room. Let's see who he goes into because I, I, I might pop a Trick Room. Zygarde. Um, I definitely want to Ice Beam that. I'm going to Ice Beam and Gleam across the board. This means four times super effective, and we are plus one. Which is really good. Cool. But he's probably going to Dynamax it, right? He hasn't Dynamax yet. No. He has not Dynamax, and he still doesn't Dynamax. We're going to hope that this Gleam can actually KO. We need you, Gleam. I need Gleam to KO here. This thing's going to get blocked. This thing's going to go for yet another Spear Break into Night Gear. So now we're minus one, but hopefully, just hopefully, this can KO. It's going to be cutting it close. That's the can come out here. Blocked by the Zygarde. And can you KO this uh, Grimmy Pill? See you later. Ah! Oh, that's ugly. That's ugly. Look, that's free Focus Ash, man. <laughs> the freest of Focus Ashes. Doesn't get more free than that. I'm just going to Gleam again. I'm going to drop an Ice Beam. There's no reason for me to switch up what I'm doing here. Omastar can get after. He's going to go for the Double Protect. It fails. Ice Beam's gonna fly. And since he didn't Dynamax, this might even KO. Four times super effective or plus one. Yep, see you later. Get him on out of here. You should just Dynamax him one after it. But that's gonna be GG's because uh, this Grimstrong cannot KO anybody. And my Magirna's not missing the stats and Gleam. Spirit Break coming in hot. Look at that. Oh, into my Omi. Oh! I didn't do so much damage. I just said that Grimstrong cannot KO anybody. Just rips into my Omi. Oh, I realized my defense is so low. I just realized that. My defense is so low from the weak armor. Thing ripped into me, but yo, Matt Gearna coming in hot here, cleaning up this battle. That's going to be GG's. We go 2-1 for today's video and grab ourselves a winning record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, a winning record, and we got to showcase this Omastar combo to its fullest potential, which is absolutely amazing. Calyrex, Omastar, double kick. It's just GG's after that. We got a sweep with it, and we got a win with it in battle number three, which is absolutely amazing. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive every day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.